Hey everyone, Wade Boggs fan here. I've received uh, some comments on my videos that uh, people would like to see a top 10 list, uh, top 10 favorite Wade Boggs cards. Well, with 5,000 different cards, it's, it's going to be pretty hard to come up with a master all-time top 10 list, although I have some candidates in mind. What I thought I'd do is to try to break it down a little bit um, and do some subcategories for top 10 lists. So without further ado, I give you my top 10 Wade Boggs cards of the 1980s. And there's no particular order here. Again, it was hard enough to find 10 cards that I liked. Um, a little bit easier from the 1980s. There weren't as many, but I know as the year decades go on, it's going to be harder and harder. I'm just going to do them in chronological order. So these are my top 10, but not necessarily as in order of my most favorite. So the first one is his 1981 TCMA Minor League Rookie Card. Coming in at uh, number 9 is his 1983 Donneris Rookie Card. I like the follow through there on that picture. And then number seven would be his 1983 Tops card. I have this in a uh, mint nine. Uh, one day, hopefully, I'll, I'll get a mint ten. Uh, not high priority on my list right now, uh, but this one is a nice PSA nine. And then number six on my list is the 1984 Donneris card. I like the fact that they're showing him in the batting cage, uh, working his craft on uh, getting base hits and, and doubles. I always like that picture. And then to finish out the first half of the top 10 is his 1985. Donnerus, and I do have this one in the Gem Mint 10. I don't collect a lot of graded cards. Um, just happened to find this one on, on eBay at a decent price, and uh, I like the card, uh, so I thought it'd be neat to have a, a Gem Mint 10 copy of that. The thing I like about this card is he's watching that ball um, go into the catcher's mitt. He always had a great eye. You know, had tons of walks, uh, great on base percentage, and this is showing him at what he did best, following that pitch in that he didn't think was a strike right into the catcher's mitt. So that's why I chose that one. So next on the list then is a 1986 Donner's Highlights card. Now, in addition to the picture that I like, what's special about this card is if you notice in the highlights there, it is in white text. And the basic card, he has two cards in this uh, mini set. I think there's 44 cards that come in the Donner's Highlights. He has two copies in there. And they have yellow text. Um, there's a better view of it. Um, but either in packs or sets, it may have only been in the, the complete sets. I don't think they sold them in packs. Um, it was a set of 44. Some of them had a run of white text versions. They're pretty hard to come by. Um, I have both this one, obviously, and uh, this is card number 13. And I have card number 11, which is his as well, um, the, in the white letter version. So now we're down to the last four. So coming in at number seven is the 1986 Topps 3D. I always liked this card. I don't know if you can tell here um, in the video, but the card has an embossing to it. So there's um, a bit of a, yeah, it's hard to tell there. But it's embossed and sticks out in, in 3D. And I always liked that picture of him. Um, so that's on my list. And then coming in at number eight 
is the 1987 classic update yellow. And if you notice there, he's holding a bat and a chicken. So of course, Wade's nickname is Chicken Man. So I think this is the first official Chicken Man card of Wade Boggs. So that coming in at number nine, now this isn't a very expensive card uh, at all. I just happen to like the design. As, as 80s cards go, um, there's some pretty neat designs, but this one here is the 1988 Tops Big. Uh, it's an oversized card, I think, harking back to uh, the early 50s Tops, where it was a little bit, uh, the cards were a little bit larger than today's cards. But I don't know. I always like that headshot and, of course, his, his follow-through. He's one of the few batters, at least in today's age, that I think on their follow-through, they still he still has both hands on the bat. They don't. He doesn't do bat. Fl he never did bat flips. Uh, he never let that bat you know leave both hands and it would flail about and stuff. He always kept both hands in contact all the way through the ball and his follow through. So I always like those shots of his uh, hitting follow through there. And then the last one on my top ten list again. This is just chronological order is the 1989 Topps Heads Up Test. Now it's just a, a big cutout of his face, all right? But here's the, the, the back of it. If you notice, there's a um, uh, sort of a, a, a sticky uh, thing. It's not sticky, a suction cup, there you go. Uh, a suction cup that it's meant to stick on a wall or a, or a flat surface. Um, what's neat about the copy that I have is it's still intact um, to the card. You'll see some, I've seen some on eBay, even some Boggs ones, uh, where that suction cup has been lost or, or whatever, and it doesn't grade very well. These don't normally grade well anyway because they're, they're cutouts. But uh, at any rate, I thought that this has always been one of my favorites, and they are very hard to uh, come by as well. Uh, you don't see too many pop up on on eBay, and this is uh, number 11 of, of 24. So there you go. That's my top 10 list of Wade Boggs cards from the 1980s. Uh, I'll be having future top 10 lists. Again, uh, probably the next one will be from the 90s and the 2000s and so on. I'll probably even throw in a top 10 list of my uh, favorite one-of-one one cards, maybe favorite autograph cards, and then at some point, I'll come up with a top 10 list of all-time Wade Boggs cards. Um, so stay tuned for that. As always, thank you for your comments. Continue to leave comments. Let me know what you would like to see in some of my upcoming videos. Um, if you like my videos, please make sure below to hit subscribe and the uh, click on the little bell so you can be notified when I post another video. And as always, thanks for watching.